o título Lisboa, a guerra nas sombras da cidade da luz, 1939-1945, Neil Lockery volta a interessar-se pela história da nossa capital e regressa com o livro Lisboa, a cidade vista de fora, 1933-1974. Neste período, muitos foram os estrangeiros que marcaram presença em Lisboa e alguns deles fizeram da cidade o seu local de residência. Com esta obra, o historiador pretende desmistificar a ideia de que a importância de Lisboa para o mundo terminou com o fim da era dos descobrimentos portugueses. I became interested in Lisbon originally when I was doing the first book on World War II, and I did lots of research for that book in America, in Portugal, and and in England, um, and that led me basically to um, write the second book. It, it seemed that there was a bigger story to tell than just simply doing World War II, and I was very interested in extending the period and looking at the Portugal in the 1950s, 19, 1960s. In World War II, lots of estrangeiros came, came here to, to, to Lisbon for various reasons. Um, there were many spies, uh, some famous spies. Um, there were many refugees. And among the refugees, there were um, several what I would call VIP celebrity refugees. Mark Chagall, the painter, Max Dernst, the painter, Peggy Guggenheim, the art collector, Arthur Kessler, the writer, um, Thomas Mann, the German writer. Many, many people came during World War II and passed through Lisbon. But also, several people came to Lisbon and made it their home, as, as you said. And the, many of the exiled royal families of um, Europe came and made their home in Estoril and became effectively permanent citizens here. Lisbon in the 20th century was an important port. It was an important point of embarkation, and it was also an extremely important to, for a number of reasons, for various different conflicts. Lisbon was very important for the Spanish Civil War in the 1930s. It was, as I write in my first book, very important in World and Second World War. But then after the Second World War, Lisbon was also very important for the Cold War. And not a lot of people talk about this in the country, I think. Um, for example, um, the Berlin airlift um, to save West Berlin could not have happened without Portuguese agreement to use the Azores bases in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and there are a number of factors that we look at, for example, Portuguese membership of NATO and the strategic importance that the Americans considered Portugal and Lisbon to hold for them. You can read the book, I think, in two ways. You can read the book as essentially looking at the estrangeros who came here, what they thought about Lisbon and Portugal. Some, like I said, were just passing through. Others were here on a more permanent basis. And there's a huge cast list, including many celebrities like Ava Perron, uh, Princess Grace, um, very interesting characters coming through here. And you can read it on a deeper level as well, I hope. And the deeper level is that um, it tells the tale, I think, of Portuguese history and its relationship with the outside world. And for me, good history links domestic history to international history and also links the past to the present and to the future. And I hope this book achieves all of those things. A obra Lisboa, a cidade vista de fora, 1933-1974, de Neil Lockery, especialista em História Moderna e Política de Israel, do Médio Oriente e do Mediterrâneo, é publicada pela Editorial Presença, que oferece 10 exemplares deste título. O desafio que hoje propomos tem que ver com a história de Lisboa. Por isso, as 10 respostas contempladas serão as 10 primeiras que nos chegarem pelo e-mail ler mais ler melhor arroba filbox.com com a resposta correta à questão em que ano Lisboa recebeu o primeiro foral concedido por Dom Afonso Henriques. Até amanhã e boas leituras.